hello once again guys welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so that you can watch more of our great videos and i'm happy to have you here thank you for watching thank you for your support and thank you for everything and may god bless you and increase you well today i'm very happy because we have come to the end of 2018 2019 is here and it's gonna be a great year Today we are going to talk about the prophecy of 2019, the patterns which are laid down by God in 2019. We are going to talk about the predictions of 2019, what we are going to see in 2019. Wow, this is amazing. I'm telling you, this will change your life forever. 2019 is a great year. Okay, before I begin, I want to talk about uh, the theme of the year. How people come about the theme of the year? They say, okay, if uh, when we we enter new year, we hear many ministries, they come up with different things. It's the year of what? Is the year of what? Is the year of this? Is the year of that? It's not wrong. I'm not trying to challenge anything. But actually, what I've come to realize, thank God for the Holy Ghost, there is a calendar in heaven which stipulates the events of each year, each month, from today till the day Christ will come. So, if you want to know what will actually happen upon the earth, in your nation, in your life, personally, have a look at the calendar of heaven. I'm going to show you the calendar of heaven. I have an ebook about this called Understanding the Mystery of Times and Seasons. I talk about the calendar of heaven. It's very important. There is a calendar in heaven which shows you what to expect. This is not guesswork. This is not gambling. This is not trying to please anybody. You're going to see what's going to happen. Now, how do you know about the calendar of heaven? I'll show you. Now, there's what you call the gate of time. The first day of the year is the gate of time of that year. And that becomes the that determines a lot the theme of that particular year. Now, for instance, the first day of 2019, 1st of January 2019, it will be on a Tuesday. It will be on a Tuesday. The new year will, be, will fall on a Tuesday. Now, because it's a Tuesday, Tuesday becomes the gate of time of 2019. Now, how do we know about the theme of 2019? We go back to the scripture. We go back to the book of Genesis. We say, what, what are the patterns laid down on the third day of creation, which is Tuesday? What did God say? This year will follow the pattern of Tuesday according to what God said in Genesis when he was creating the earth. When Jesus, when God was creating the earth, the, I want you to know that it was perfect. Genesis chapter 1, there was no sin, no evil, nothing. This is where we see God stepping in, working. This is where we see God working, doing his own thing. And God was laying down a pattern. It shows you how events are going to take place. Genesis chapter 1 gives you a pattern. A pattern for your star. A pattern for the theme of the year. You can know what the future holds by studying patterns. Patterns laid down in the Bible. In this world, we live in a pattern world. There's nothing new under the sun. That's why people said history repeats itself. So there is nothing new. It's just a pattern. You just know a, what pattern is laid down. You study it and you know what to expect. There's nothing new. Nobody should deceive you. There is nothing new under the sun. You just look into the, into the Word of God and let's see the pattern. Now, let us go right into 2019. 2019 will begin on a Tuesday. It is a great year. Tuesday is a great year. I love this. I love Tuesday. It's a great year. Now, I want you to understand that uh, 2019 begins with a Tuesday. Another year which will begin with a Tuesday will be 2030. That means if you miss this season, if you miss 2019, you'll have to wait for the up to 2030. If this season passes you by, you'll have to wait till 2030. That's why it's very important. 2019 should not pass you by. 2019 carries a lot of blessings. Times and seasons are carriers of blessings. Blessings 
come in, are carried into our lives by the times and seasons. God created times and seasons to usher us into realms of favor, realms of blessing, different realms of success into our lives. Times and seasons are carriers of blessings. Times and seasons are usher us into new, new chapters into our lives. So it's important to know. The Bible says God makes everything beautiful in his time. Everything in this world is tied in a particular time. There's a blessing which I've been waiting for, which has been tied to this timing, 2019. Let me show you now. 2019, on Tuesday, what did God do? Tuesday is the day when God came and spoke into the water bodies to solidify, to form the earth. This is where, the, this is where God created the earth. This is where God laid the foundation of the earth. It's very important. And then God spoke to the vegetation, to come out to produce fruits, the trees, the flower, flowers, and everything, they came out. This way, this when the mountains were created. This way, we have minerals because it has to do with the land. This way, there were minerals, there were fruits, and, and everything. Now, let me explain to you. 2019, number one, it shall be a year of establishment and stability. Those who are hustling, if you have been hustling, if you're looking for a job, this year it, it, it will be the year of establishment. It will be the year of stability. You shall find stability in whatever you are doing. Ministry shall be stabilized. Your business shall be stabilized. Shall be stabilized. You shall be established. Why? Because there was water. And then God came on Tuesday and spoke to part of the water to solidify, to form the earth. You know that we, 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 we could not walk on water except for that time. One time Jesus did it miraculously. God had created the earth so that we can walk on the earth, so, so that we can have a firm place to stand upon. This year, God is the year of laying a strong foundation. A foundation, those foundations which were weak are going to be strengthened. Those who don't have foundation are, are going to be to lay down new foundation. The essence of having a good foundation is to it, it, it is to is to withstand the storms of life. This year, because of the foundation which are going to be laid in 2019, you'll be able to withstand the storms of life which are going to come in the next years. Now, it's the year of establishment. It's the year of stability. You are going to be stable. Stable in your, in, in your marriage. Stable relationship. Stable ministry. Stable business. Stable everything. God is going to stabilize you. God is going to establish you. It's the year of stability. It's the year of strength. Because the earth represents strength. Ooh, I'm excited. If you, are a, if you are a hustler, God is going to give you a stable income. God is going to stabilize you. The days of, you, of your hustling are over. 2019 is that season which comes along with stability. The Lord will establish you. Another thing. Okay, after God put the... The, the earth. What did he, what did he do? He, he he called forth vegetation, plants, fruits, whatever. Now this means that when the vegetations were upon the earth, it added color upon the earth. You could now see the green, the green vegetation, the flowers, the green flower. That means this year God is going to beautify you. It is it shall be the year of color. It shall be the year of beauty. God is going to beautify you. God is going to remove shame from you. The glory of God is going to be upon you. God is going to beautify you. God is going to put color into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Another thing that now we also see we also see um, the fruits, the vegetation, the trees when they 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 were created, it produced fruits. Now it's the year of harvest. We are going to harvest whatever you have been you have been doing for many years with no results. This is the year you will see the results. 2019, you will, you will eat the fruit of your labor. You will eat the fruit of your labor. It's the year of harvest. You are going to harvest. You are, you are going to see fruitfulness. In this year, man is in abundance. 2019, there will be money. Money will circulate. You will handle money. You will handle money that which you have never handled in your life. 2019, it, abundance. When God created the, the fruits, remember Adam and Eve, in the garden, God told them only to eat fruits. That means God supplied whatever they needed for food, for survival. 2019, you will not go hungry. 
God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I'm excited. It's the year of harvest. You're, you're going to harvest the results. You're going to harvest. Churches are going to harvest souls. Ministry are going to harvest souls. You're going to see results. You're going to see impact. Amen. Okay. Another thing to, to note that is that uh, uh, the land has something to do with minerals, oils, and um, yeah, minerals, oils, real estate. This year, those people who are dealing with real estate, it shall be a good year. You will sell properties. You will buy properties. You will build houses this year. And also those who are dealing with minerals, oil, minerals, I don't know, diamonds, coal, whatever. Those who are, doing, those who are dealing with minerals, this year shall be a good year for you. Well, whatever you have been desiring to have all this time, this is the season for that thing to come to pass. Because it is their timing. Everything God God makes everything beautiful in His time. This is the time. Those who are doing those who are doing mineral business. It's your time. Oil business. This is your time. It's going to perform better. It's going to be well with you. Those who are doing crop farming, farming, crop farming is going to do very well this year. If you are if you have been thinking of Venturing into farming, it will be the right opportunity to start. Crop farming will do well this year because the year where God Himself planted everything in this world follows a pattern. Everything is for Jesus followed the pattern. When Jesus was born, He wanted to be killed, went to Egypt. That that same thing happened to Moses. He was born, wanted to be killed, was taken to the palace in Egypt. Everything in this world follows a pattern. There is nothing new under the sun. You study the patterns. The Bible is a book of pattern. The Bible, the Bible was given to us so that we can study the, the pattern, so that those patterns can be repeated in our lives. And this pattern shall be repeated in your life. May you find strength in 2019. May you find strength in 2019. 2019 shall be a great year. You'll be stabilized. You'll not struggle. Your days of struggles are over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your days of mourning are over. Your days of hustling are over. Your days of crying are over. May God beautify you. The, the, I prophesy, may your star shine in 2019 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is a great year. It is a great year. It is a great year. God is going to stabilize you. God is going, you know, it's very important to be stable. There are so many people, you know, you can be doing something that are not stable in it. It's very important. I'm looking forward to a to it. May God stabilize me and my ministry. May God stabilize you and whatever you're doing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And to pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for the year 2019. I declare that the gates of 2019 are open. We possess the gates of 2019 for myself and for my viewer. Lord, may you release the blessings of 2019 into our lives. May we partake of the blessings of 2019 into our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Lord, strengthen us and change our story. Give us a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you and bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to partner with us. Send us your financial contributions to help us do the work of God and to bless to reach out to more people so that we can become a blessing. And from, from me and my team, I want to wish you a prosperous new year. In Jesus' name, see you in 2019. Bam!